Toonami, nostalgia, and 2000s culture. All of these influences in Black Balloon's style of ambient DMB. This video is about how to make this type of music. I've included some of the sounds used in this style in the description as a free download. Tracks in this genre use nostalgic sounds and samples. Black Balloons uses a lot of PlayStation sounds. For our track, I use some filtered white noise, a PS2 sound effect, and a scene from the Digimon movie. A textured sound was also layered underneath. It's a regular hi-hat loop with these added effects to make it sound more digital. Layered drum breaks are used in this style. Here's how these ones were sliced. When slicing your drum fills, try shortening the audio tails like this. It makes the drums sound choppier and more aggressive. Here's the processing used on the drums. This was the bass pattern used. Beats in this style tend to use shorter, bouncier 808s. Ambient DMB tracks use a lot of ethereal pads. For this track, I use this Final Fantasy pad. This is from my Sega 93 Ambient Pad Sample Pack. The first pad has been tuned up by five semitones, and the second one is at normal pitch. Let's do a quick music theory side quest, and I promise it will be quick. One semitone is the same as one note. So by tuning a sound up by five semitones, we're really just moving it up by five notes. This is one way of playing your pad samples at different notes that a lot of old school jungle producers used. Play around with tuning up and down by intervals of three, five, seven, and nine. Black balloons treat their vocals like a lead instrument. This is done through filtering, chopping, and adding various effects. One of these effects is called formant shifting. It can make your voice sound like this, or like this. The plugin they use is called Little Alter Boy by Sound Toys. However, there's a free option called M Auto Pitch. Here are the other effects added to my vocal from this track. <laughs> Tell me again Tell me again Tell me again Tell me again as you can hear, I just mumbled melodies over the beat. This way I can go back in later and add lyrics. I asked Black Balloons if they had any tips they used when processing their drums. They mentioned combining two drum breaks together and processing them through an Akai MPC. Instead of using an MPC, you can download this free software called Akaiser, which emulates some of the MPC processing effects. I layered these two drum breaks together Here's some of the affected sounds created from this combined drum loop after being run through the Akaiser. I've included a link to Sounds Resource. It has hundreds of PlayStation and gaming soundtracks and sound effects. Along with this, there's a folder with some ambient DMB sounds. Also linked below is my Sega 93 Ambient Pad Sample Pack. Experiment with layering these ethereal pads with the sounds and techniques mentioned in this video. You can create some really unique sounding ambient DMB. Everything I've mentioned is in the description below. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you're not a robot.